Ah, uh, Mr. Neil Anthony, now that we've traumatised you with the game of <laughs> Twister and we've put you through your paces, um, certainly getting some in-depth questions. I have to congratulate you on a stellar year, dude. Thanks, man. Well done, brother. I think Push you really on. are a leading light. Um, but, of course, you do what you do best yeah. in the kitchen. Exactly. And we're going to be whipping up something very fresh, mm. something zingy, something zesty, yep. um, and a beautiful side of tuna. Take exactly. us through our recipe today. So we're just going to do a beautiful seared tuna. On the nice. bottom of that, we're going to gonna do a, a fennel salad. Uh, through that fennel salad, we're going to pop some apples, some creme fraiche, some lime. This is the sort of fennel tops through that as well. You know, this is a really sort of great um, dinner party style starter if you want to do sort of, you know, smaller versions. Yeah. It's a great sort of, sort of bride, just sort of lay it out, sort of put it out on the table. It's summery, it's fresh, it's exactly. beautiful, and it's incredibly healthy to boot, which we yeah. do like on the show. Um, and so very after easy. our cappuccino fingers earlier this morning. <laughs> um, all right, so where do we begin the process? So we them? just put some oil in our pan. Beautiful, uh, beautiful tuna steak. Just take it like that. Oh, don't have to wait. Season both sides, nice amount of salt, coarse salt as well. Don't be shy. So to get cool. that in there, Got while it. that's there, we got some hoisin sauce and some oyster sauce. Oh, nice. Just mix those two together. Tiny bit of sweetness as well. We're going to leave that there. We're going to use that as a sort of base thing. Cool. Extra olive oil in there. Just bang that. Boom. A little bit of salt. Nice. Tiny bit of lime juice. I love the flourish, man. I love yeah. the flourish, eh? One tosses, <laughs> tosses food in the kitchen. And, and he like, actually knew where that basin was, eh? That was pretty did. slick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so just into our sort of salad bowl or mixing bowl there. A bit of creme fraiche. It just sort of really sort of brings it together. Adds another sort of level of zestiness. Nice yeah, sort and of... I suppose you want a tiny bit of creaminess in there to balance out Yeah, exactly. Out I mean, the, you could the use thing, a mayonnaise here yeah, if you wanted to, but I just find it a little bit heavy. So fresh chives in there as well. Nice. And the fennel tops, just sort of... Pull them in. Cool. And keep it quite rustic and chunky, yeah, eh? Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Rustic and chunky is good. That's how we do. You can get it all over the board, it's fine as well. And just looking at all of these flavours here, everything, every one of these alone with a piece of fish would be a great yeah. sounding board. So the, these really are flavours to complement fish, yeah? It's good, really. I mean, even with a grilled bit of piece of grilled chicken as well is quite nice. But I mean, fish is your, is your main one here. Dude, what is going on in here? What are these? This is just fennel that we've uh, shaved really, really finely. Oh, so this is obviously yeah. the, the top of the fennel and this is the bottom That's of the, the fennel. Yeah, the pot. bulb. Cool. So we just mix this through. Now this you can make in advance as well. You can keep this in your fridge for, you know, a couple of hours. It just sort of gets, if when it gets really cold, it gets really fresh and zingy as well. Oh, lovely. And all those flavors are only going to get better. So just... So now here's the real trick. Tuna, you obviously you can yeah, eat it right. raw if it's prepared yeah. in the right way. But So you don't want to overdo this. You, no. When you say seared, you literally are meaning that. A really just... quick sear, yeah. And while it's in there, a nice brush with your marinade. Really quick marinade, obviously. It's not too fast. Sorry, oh. I mean, not too long. Yeah. Oh, I love it. So if you'd like these ingredients on a list sent directly to your phone, all you've got to do is SMS the keyword FISH to 33728. It's going to cost you just 8 bucks. But you're going to give away my phone number there, just say for uh, Neil. Uh, oh, no, we gave that out on the show <laughs> earlier while you and were playing bottom, Twister, man. We, we had such a demand <laughs> for it. We were like, OK, just put it out just there. When we said your private chef, OK, he doesn't actually just rock up at your house and cook for you. That, that's a pleasure we reserve for ourselves. <laughs> Um, oh man, that really is looking lovely. Okay, and that was in there for literally seconds, yeah, seconds guys. So, seconds, you know I mean? eh? You can actually do that with a blowtorch if you want. It's quite fun as well. I, I tend to cook a bit like that as well, but... Uh, no doubt. Yeah. It, it's the boy's way of searing something. Exactly. A power blowtorch. <laughs> so that we just sort of sprinkle on like this. Oh, it looks beautiful as well, man. Nice. Oh, look at that. You've got your perfect pink centre. Yeah. Beautiful seared outside. That smells amazing as yeah, well. That beautiful. basting is just beautiful. Yeah, nice. You know, you can you could go a bit of garlic and I'm a bit of ginger on there as well if you wanted to. All right, so we're going to bring you the final finished product and all of its glory in just a moment. Mr. Neil Anthony, you can catch him tonight, Private Chef. He is on SABC3 at 8 o'clock. We're going to have a little taste test while we put these final touches on. Mm. So this is just dried miso. You can buy this at a sort of Asian supermarket. Oh, my word. And this is a little spiced tomato ketchup that I make. Couple of dots of that mm. around. Uh, and it's a work of art in just seconds. So there you have it again, that keyword fish to double three seven two eight, and we'll send you Neil Anthony on a plate. No, I lie. No, that's absolutely <laughs> beautiful, my man. Well nice done. One. Thank you. Oh, still plenty coming your way on your feel-good breakfast show.